Hey, good morning. Marcus Conti here. Out and about. Early in the morning. Working up a sweat. And um, wanted to talk about some stuff. Again, I, I want to run this theme one more time about uh, none of this is about me. It's about the bigger picture. It's the call to arms. Okay. Now, you, know, you got to ask yourself, are we just bricks in the wall? Are we, you know, working for the customer and such? You know, because... You know, I'm looking in the mirror and all I'm seeing is me so far. And, um, but anyway, what I want to let people know is that, you know, this is about, this is about the First Amendment, okay? I, I know it, it may sound like, oh, look at, look at this guy, Conti, who the hell is he? Making such a big deal over nothing, he got fired, go get another job. The reality is we found... See, that's, that's the problem. <clears throat> that right there is the problem. The problem is apathy and the problem is complacency that no one's really responsible for anything. That we've conformed to this idea that, hey, listen, I got, I got my job, you know, taking care of my kids. And everything's good from my window. Oh, you want me to bust this guy's chops and run him out because he's, uh, you know, he's... He's talking about all our illegal stuff. He's talking about discrimination. He's talking about, you know, lack of diversity. He's talking about, you know, he's talking about a ticket quota, that illegal ticket quota generating millions of dollars for the city and using attrition warfare to kind of stuff people's opinions and silence them and run them out and smear them. And, you know, we're talking about we're talking about city and state agencies that are made aware of the corruption and they don't do anything about it. Go through the court system and you make people aware of it and they don't do anything about it. So we know what's going on. The gig is up, guys. And, uh, you know, gig is up. So what I'm saying is, is also this to, to the people inside DSNY. Okay, this this issue of uh, this issue of, of inside corruption, this ins this issue of an agency within the city of New York uh, engaging in illegal ticket quota, for example, is not an isolated situation at all. Okay, we know that the Department of Traffic is also involved. The SNY has maybe three or four hundred agents. Department of Traffic has 10 times that number. So, and they're all engaged in a ticket quota. I believe theirs is 26 daily, 26 tickets every day. So, you know, to my colleagues, that's where you look, okay? Okay? We're not here, yeah, again, folks, we're not out, no one's out to hurt anyone, okay? It's following orders, I understand. But at some point, you have to look at yourself and look at your own actions. It doesn't, it doesn't, you can't expect the court and the agency and, and this one and that one and the other one up, looking up to save you because they're not. You have to start, you have to just, you have to start talking to each other. You see like those two, those guys out there just, hanging out in the street, having a conversation, you know? And maybe one of them says, you know, drops a piece of paper on the ground and it has some information. Okay, that's how it starts. Make friends with the media, make friends with your local media. Those are the, those are the people you want to talk to. You break the story from the bottom, not from the top, folks. Okay, because the top is just a rabbit hole. Understand? You go up, 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 up. That's the rabbit hole. You're in the you're in the driver's seat. You have the power to make this change. Okay. All the all the politicians have become customers, so we need to fix that. We need to change that. So that's what this is about. It's not about 
it's not about me, little me, although in, in many respects it is, but there's a lot of little me's out there. And, um, okay, so I hope that makes sense.